Uh, don't you? I'll tell you about it. Because I'm going to give my homegirl some, 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 some credit. I originally wrote that song for an artist that was up under me at the time. Her name was Tori Alamaze. And she did the original version of the song, and it was great. Um, I guess I got to say, in all honesty, she wasn't necessarily the don't you girl. You know, cause Tori's just not like that. She's just a cool, kind of easy kind of going girl. She's like bohemian. She's like neo soul kind of in real life. So, you know, when I was, when Don't You was kind of like going around, it became this renegade record without a face to it. Like everybody was like, they were saying, who is the Don't You girl? Nobody knew I had anything to do with it. I remember Puffy was like, yo, who's the Don't You girl? I bet, oh, where she at? You know what I'm saying? And uh, so everybody was like expecting this big, you know, Amazon, this kind of creature of a woman like Grace Jones or somebody, like, I wish it had been something like that, you know, but Tori's just kind of cool girl. So we got her signed and the label didn't go, the label didn't, it didn't go through, the deal didn't go through all the way. And uh, so they were like, yo, we love the record. We love you, CeeLo, we want to stay in business with you. We want this record, like, yo, I got this idea. Then he gave, sent me a picture of the Pussycat Dolls. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> I, I feel you. <laughs> and so, you know, with the Pussycat Dolls, it just kind of gave you options, right? It's like, and we, we you know, we, options are better, you know? <laughs> so it's like, you know, it's just like, yo, don't you wish your girlfriend was like me? Or like me. Or like me. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? So that's the first thing that came to mind when I saw the picture. I was like, yeah, it'll work. So I had to really, really explain to her, like, why I had to do it. And I was like, we're still friends. I think so. <laughs> So, yeah, that's the story of Don't You. All across the United States, the American people show your love and don't stop screaming. Give it up for Tori Alamosa.
artist, and she's you know she's wonderful. People like her. Um, I think it was probably a hidden thing that not a lot of people knew she could sing. So when I seen her, I was like, not the makeup chick. The makeup chick about to do a song, and you know she got in the booth, and um, you know she just flipped. She flipped. She was a totally different person. She was becoming a triple threat. She was already a double threat, and nobody knew that. And now it was like, okay, so now you can sing. Next thing you know, you know, oh wow, you can dance. Oh, you, you know, she had like a little style to her, and it was like, it, all of a sudden, it was like, wow, she's she's becoming whoever she's going to become. No, I can't do that.